Player 2, press start! Hi everyone and welcome back to Player 2, press start! start. That was weird. I just felt it, man. I felt it and I had to go you for had it. To go for it. It, just, it felt right. It felt good. <laughs> it felt real good. Whoa, dude, keep it in your pants. Uh, last oh, time is. on Earthbound, we made our way through Belch's base, killed that goopy motherfucker's ass. Yes, what did I just say? <laughs> I don't know. Some. And we made our way back here to Saturn Valley. Said something. Uh, first and foremost, I want to show that we leveled up everyone by one, just so we can get Jeff's IQ up to 24. You want it to be 24 or higher so you can take that broken laser you found and turn it into the laser gun! Laser gun. Pretty big Pretty upgrade big there. Upgrade. I'm just gonna do and that. And you wanna, yeah, you wanna sing and stuff. <laughs> I'm just gonna do that from now on. You also wanna talk to this guy, you get a couple life noodles, a Mr. Saturn coin, and a stag beetle. Fairly good items, at least one of them. I think the stag beetle is pretty useless. You just use it in a fight and it solidifies an enemy. One time use. Is I don't it, like um, it. It's not guaranteed to solidify though, is it? No, I don't think so. So, so it's, it's just stupid. It's kind of stupid, yeah. <laughs> it's dumb. I don't like it. <laughs> but the Mr. Saturn coin is very good. It's a huge upgrade in defense. I always give it to Paula because she's weak. Not because she's a girl, no, because she's no, Paula. I don't, I don't care that she's a woman. She's not a woman. God. Whatever she is. She's a man beast thing. She's a man. And it's our friend How from the skies! How does he always find us? Orville Redenbacher to deliver popcorn. <laughs> Albino A. Blinken, take a picture. But uh, I'm gonna take this opportunity actually to thank everyone who's been watching our videos, commenting, subscribing. Uh, it's, you know, great motivation. I really appreciate the, the feedback and support from you guys. So, you know, thanks a lot. Yeah, it means a lot. So seriously, thanks. And we'll keep trying to put out some uh, good videos for you. Oh, we're not doing that. <laughs> not nope. right off the bat. No more videos. We're done. <laughs> we're done. <laughs> that was it. Oh, oh there we go. Oh, that's, that's, let's see if I'm going to try and make it through here without getting my ass kicked by stuff. Uh oh. <laughs> they're uh, multiplying. Uh, they're and multiplying. They're getting closer. They're seriously multiplying. Dude, do not go backwards. We got to do this. Well, there's three types of enemies in this area, and we'll get two out of the way, and one that I'm. I really don't want to fight. The Struttin' Evil Mushroom. Ugh. Yeah, these guys are the most, the high priority kill you want to do here. I uh, just want to use fire. Pretty much every enemy in here you want to use fire. They even line up in a row like that. Oh, convenient for you. Hi. In a conga line. Hi. But the Struttin' Evil Mushrooms, their first move is pretty much going to be scattering their spore. There it is, right off the bat. And it's Jeff. Some bitch. Some bitch. Yeah. You know, it's like we give him a fancy new laser gun and it works. You know, we just don't know what he's gonna do with it. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, but essentially when you're mushroomized, it says you feel funky and occasionally, I don't know if there's a set percentage or anything, but um, Some they'll attack of, the group. It's horrible. Some kind of mathematics behind it. The other enemy here is the Tough Mobile Sprout. Now these guys are, they're easy, they have life up, they'll sow their seeds, and they have the annoying magnet move, of course. They're basically like the mobile sprouts, except, well, tougher. Take our chances. <laughs> <laughs> I get it. Horrible. Absolutely Fuck. Yeah. Whoa, dude. Sorry. Language. I just family, I family restaurant. Family show here. This is a family, uh, family show. Family gathering time. I mean, luckily, it, Jeff's the one who got mushroomized here, when you think about it, because... If it's Nessar Paul and they use a PSI attack, especially an area of effect one, you don't want it to hit in the group. Yeah, so we're actually quite fortunate that Jeff uh, got And we'll fight one of these guys. Mushroom. No, 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 no! <laughs> oh, like, oh you guys, bro. What are you guys doing up here? We want to play too! Oh, good. We didn't get the tough mobile sprout, but still, uh, that's got, the one. This is what I didn't want. Yeah. But uh, here's the new enemy here, the Ranboob. These guys aren't too bad. I mean, they're the toughest in the area when it comes to HP and their offense and defense, but they're just really gonna bash you. They have a psychic shield that cuts physical attacks, I believe. And they ice their hair like they're from Jersey. <laughs> it's a Jersey thing! <laughs> snug little bastards. They do look smart. Fuck! Oh, that's not good. A Ness. Bro. Whatever, we got this. We got it. As long as he doesn't bash Paul in the mouth. With this bat. Uh, Ness is the one I don't want to get affected just because now when I move, it's gonna be affected on in the overworld, I guess. And we got Magnet Omega, yay! There it is. Shit. Now he's gonna see us. Alright, well it's easier in this area to get through it without fighting stuff. However, if your controls go awry on you, it can get pretty nasty. Just one? 
This is a trap. <laughs> it's a trick. Let's go. Yeah, it's just oh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Called it. Uh, it could have been a lot worse, though. Could have been another mushroom or two. As long as Ness doesn't beat the shit out of Paula. Oh, which is totally gonna happen now. He's gonna steal. Oh, no! Yeah. I'm okay. I'm okay. We're okay. I'm okay. Whoa, okay. I was scared there for a second. Well, here's a fun fact about the Strut and Evil Mushroom, actually, that I'll mention that I'm thinking about it. Get that magic butter. Oh, I'm gonna get them. Yeah, everyone's pretty. doesn't really need it. They're mushroomized. Mushroom. Mushroom. But yeah, sorry. Back to the Strut and Evil Mushroom. Fun fact. There's actually two of them in the game. Um, the one when you're playing just as Jeff. Uh, we'll fight one of these. One of yous. <laughs> What'd you call me? When you're playing just as Jeff, though. God, I keep getting sidetracked. Yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, there's mushrooms in that cave, and they're the strut and evil mushrooms, except they're red. But they have a different moveset. They actually can't spore you. It's They can just bash and then be absent minded. So they make it easier since you're just with Jeff. They're not the rambling evil mushrooms, which is what I always thought. They have the same amount of HP, but yeah, it's a little different. Jeff, dude, calm down. Oh, bro. I, that's great. Oh. All right, boys, don't kill each other. All right, uh, well, we're going to go quickly. We're going to run back, revive Paula, because you are going to need her for this battle. Well, no, you know what? I'll just use an item. Oh. And we'll, we'll try and do it. Oh, now my controls are going funky. Yeah, this, this cave is actually kind of rough because of the mushroomization. Yeah, it's, it's, I, that's the worst status element, I think, in the game. And this, this, this cave is just plentiful with it. Okay, which way is right? There we go. Oh, come on. Oh, oh there we go. All right, coin of slumber. Now coin this slumber. is kind of a nice little present they give you right before a boss. I always give it to Jeff, because he's the other weakest dude. It's a pretty damn good upgrade. I mean, I just leave Ness with the lowest defense, because he has the highest HP. It just kind of makes sense to me. You want to balance out all the effective HP of your party. I all believe right. it's I correct. I think term. I got this down. All right. Cool. All right, how are we looking, folks? Oh, like we're going to get our ass kicked. I'm going to get... I will find... Oh, <laughs> oh there we go. It changed there as I was doing it. But uh, here we go, the third Sanctuary boss. This is the third your sanctuary location, but it's mine now. Take it from me if you dare. I am the guardian of Milky Well. All right, here we go. Trillion Age Sprout. I actually think this is the first actually difficult boss so far in the game. For, you know, a few reasons. Says the guy He's got who some died help. On Titanic Ant. You shut your face! They forgot about it. I promise you, they forgot about it. <laughs> Never forget. Oh, anyways, I mean, he has his little helpers here, and they can multiply, and they'll heal him with life up. They'll do magnet to you. It sucks. Uh, you're mushroomized. Like, what? The whole point of this. Whoops! Almost did freeze. You definitely want to use fire on. But the whole point of this small little dungeon is to get everyone mushroomized so that this fight is extra hard. Um. I mean, you can use a big bottle rocket on him, and that'll knock him down half of his health. He's got about a thousand HP. Uh, bottle rocket, big bottle rocket, rather, will do 500 damage. Oh, do some damage, guys. One of them. Oh. And another big thing about this guy is he can glare and diamondize someone in the party. And that's pretty much an instant KO. It's a, a status ailment, but which you're pretty much dead, and we don't have anything that can heal it right now, except a couple life noodles. That should get rid of it. Yeah, diamondization is. Should we roll the dice here and? Go uh, <laughs> I don't, I don't think so. That'd be a horrible yeah. idea, right? No, yeah, you gotta, you gotta weigh your options here. But yeah, di <laughs> diamondization is more or less like petrify in any other uh, standard role-playing game. Speaking of petrify, this guy can also paralyze you. So it's, it can get really difficult. He can paralyze people, uh, diamondize. I believe he can do a psychic shield as well. So that'll halt your PSI. And if everyone's mushroomized, especially if Paul was mushroomized, that'd be bad news. We couldn't use fire safely. Oh, by the way, I mean, we never really brought this up before, but if Ness dies, you're, you're done. You're done. And uh, you really want to make sure that he stays alive. What do you mean by you're done? Yeah. Well, I mean, because you, you just you need his life up. Pretty much. I mean, unless you have uh, the peanut cheese bars and stuff like that, those will heal you for... Dude, you shot yourself? Well, you know what? We should try and heal him, I guess. <laughs> I don't think he's dead, is he? He might be dead. Well, he, no. 
I All think right. He must have shot himself in the cheek and out the other cheek. What are you doing? Oh, 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 yeah, you know oh. what? I was just curious about that. I was wondering what he could do with life up under the effects of mushroomization. Yeah, he can't heal the other dude. That's what I thought. That's what I thought. I thought he oh, could man. not heal the enemy. Jeff's going to miss out on the experience, but I'm okay with it. Yeah, it's just Jeff. It was a rough fight, but we made it, guys. I mean, it's okay to, you know, have an occasional death every now and then. It can't be perfect. No. Because it didn't die and have to come back. Yeah. Well, Jeff did. And he'll be back shortly. Thunder Beta. He's new, he's got, he's new to the party. He's got to take some hazing, you know. <laughs> die a few times, and then we'll accept him into the group. <laughs> I mean, we did say no at first. All right, now if I can get through this door, I forgot which way the, no, the controls angel. are. All right, that's that way, so there we go. And here we are, Milky... Aw, 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 aw. That's where's so the, frustrating. Where, where's the Milky Well? You know what? They actually kind of reuse a, a sprite there. Huh. But we'll we'll point that out later. For now, enjoy the melody. That was it. <laughs> <laughs> and guess what? Ba -ba! Back, everybody. Shining spots heal everything. Love it. <laughs> That'd be really weird if your mom was actually yelling that kind of stuff to you. Yes! <laughs> be a thoughtful and strong boy! I love you! <laughs> yeah, yeah I, sorry about that, folks. But, um, yeah, I mean, as always, I always recommend fighting everything on your way out. They're all scared, so it's great. Um, let's see, yeah, we're actually pretty on track for levels. You want to, you should have someone in your group, high 20s at the end of this, maybe even longer. I mean, yeah, we're avoiding fights, so that'll cut back on that. It's actually but we're really... also, well, we're also encountering every enemy, so. Yeah, yeah, it's. We're kind of staying on track. Uh, oh, wait, why am I running? I yeah, forgot. They're, they're scared of me. They're scared of you, man. But uh, the episode's getting kind of long, so I guess we'll end it off there. If I get through this orgy of. What the hell is going on? It's a Guido Fest in here. <laughs> Jesus. Jeebus. But uh, yeah, uh, next time on Player 2 Press Start, we'll enjoy a nice cup of coffee. Delicious. See you guys then.